everybody, I'm Random Girl, also known as Jen, and today I have a very, very special treat for you all. Well, honestly, it's a treat for me, but I'm drawing one of my favorite characters from any book series, Smaug the Dragon from The Hobbit. I know he's a fire drake, I know he's the last fire drake in Middle Earth, and I know he's obsessed with gold and greed, and he's huge, and he's powerful, and he's amazing, and he's a dragon, and I love dragons, so, so let's get drawing! <laughs> Where most of the time I start with all my drawings is the creature's head. Whether it's a person or a being or puppy cat or cat bug, which you should all go see because I did those already. Start with their head or generally shaping out what you want the position of the body to be. So you want to do kind of a boxy shape for the snout. And then at the head, we're going to eventually start doing these really awesome kick-ass horns. But let's not worry about the details right now because we want to do the general body shape and make sure that the shape fits on your paper. I can't tell you how many times I've drawn something and I'm like, oh no, I ran out of room on my paper. This is around where his neck's gonna be. Very slender, very serpent-like, very loose and fluid. The neck is always thinner at the top, even without drawing the legs or the wings or anything. It's very serpent-like. He had a rib cage. His rib cage would end about here. His shoulder is gonna be about right where his neck hits his body. So right in this area is gonna be his leg. He still has a forearm, just like we do. And that forearm is gonna be about right here. And then this is where his elbow's gonna be, and he's gonna have his foot come out like so. And then this is where his wrist is. So here are his little toesies for his first foot, and then his back foot, which would be our legs, so his hip joint is around this back area of his body where his tail meets the rest of his body. And then, so his knee is going to be about here, so then this would be his shin bone. And then here is his ankle. This is going to be the box that he's going to be standing in. So this is the perspective. So then he has four legs, not two. So the other two are going to be over here. So you can imagine the other hip point joint is over here. His knee is going to be around here. And because of perspective, it's going to seem a little bit smaller. And you know, like I said, I'm a very sketchy artist, so it's fine. I encourage everyone to draw, make mistakes. It's the only way you're going to learn is through practicing. And then his other foot is just gonna be right by his other one. Okay, so this is the basic body shape, including where his legs are. So let's draw the big powerful wings. So people need to keep in mind that wings don't just sprout out of the top of their shoulders. Wings require muscle. They require skeletal-like structure underneath to actually make them flat. So once you have a general placement of where you want your shoulders to be, you want to draw this first wing is gonna come backwards. So I'm gonna have him fold in his wings a little bit. So he's like, he's landed, he's checking out, you know, his awesome gold and everything. He's surveying the land. So this is the folded down part of his wing. But if you're gonna draw a, just a wing splayed out, so you have your joint here and you have that first forearm. So this will be the first one. And then here's their elbow, and then it'll come back. And then from the wrist joint, you can imagine all these long tendrils that come out from a dragon's wrist joint are the hands and the fingers. They're just super long fingers that come down and then are webbed in between. All these fingers that come out and are webbed and are connected. And then this last one, it doesn't go back up here or it doesn't connect there, it connects way down to where the body is. And like, we'll just say for argument's sake that they have three joints because your fingers have three joints. So we'll do one over here, one up here, and this is, will be the tip of it, and then the basic. So then you can, this is a really rough sketch of uh, a dragon's wing, but you can, you can get the general idea of how it's like your arm but exaggerated at parts. Anyway, so let's go back to the dragon drawing. So we're drawing the other wing. Comes up here, comes around, and this one will come down by his face because this one also is folded over. I'm going to move his 
tail over so it's not covered up by his wing. I'm gonna move it like back here. So that's one change I'm gonna make. So you can see the end of his tail along with the wing so it's not covered. All right, cool. So then you can start drawing in the details. I, again, like to start with the face just because it's easier to go from and where you get a lot of the moods of your drawing depending if they're happy or sad or angry or just badass, you know. You want to make sure that the eyes are generally where that the edge of that circle is. But so his eyes are going to be about here. Very small, very squinty, very badass looking. And his eyebrows are going to be, they're going to translate to a horn. Because I'm picturing Smog with lots of horns. Again, I haven't seen Smog. But in my version, he's got super awesome, badass horns that also double as his eyebrows. Maybe he has a couple more really awesome horns. Right from where his chin would be, which is like right around here, we're gonna draw little nasty spikes to help separate the difference between his head and his neck. Maybe he's got a horn or two going up the side. And then you want to make sure he has a nostril so he can breathe in before he breathes out all that fire. His nostril will go at the end of his mouth and then his mouth will come up and he's frowning. So I'm just going to draw a few more spikes, a few more awesome badassery that's going to go on. I'm going to clean up my lines a little bit so I can see what I've done and what I'm doing. And I'm actually going to kind of almost like a bird. I'm going to have his top lip go over where his bottom lip is. So those are a few added details in the head there. That's pretty cool. So let's do his chest scales. Let's just draw a few smaller scales up top. I want my scales to come around, at least the bottom scales come around like that. And then they'll get smaller towards the top and then as they get closer to his belly, they're going to be a lot, a lot bigger, a lot thicker. He also has scales on this side. And, uh, just random scales about the same size and shape, getting a little smaller as we get closer to the face, maybe a bit bigger as we come down here. So now we're getting towards his arm. And we're gonna do this back. This is where his back of his elbow is, this is the fore in the elbow. Maybe he has a few awesome scales at the top. Again, getting bigger at the top and smaller at the ankle. I'm gonna do three toes, and all of these little toesies are gonna have armor on them. And for the scales, I'm just drawing little tiny half circles. I don't really have any particular order. I'm just gonna do really basic half circles kind of randomly throughout. But you can be more ambitious and draw them out a little bit more, give them a little bit more detail, a little shading on either side. But as of right now, I'm not gonna do that. And then so as far as the other shoulder goes, cause again, it's like another arm, but just elongated. I'm gonna make sure that his muscles come here. And then this is where his forearm is. This part right up here, this is one of his fingers. It's the very last finger, so it's probably his pinky finger. I'm pretty sure. So you're gonna need you're gonna need knuckles. So let's do about a knuckle almost top way there. And then another knuckle right there. Maybe well at the end in a cool little kick-ass spike. So here is the other side of that. So I'm gonna draw a few little rips in his wings because they're very delicate. And he's probably, you know, been in a few battles, been around the block a few times. Okay, so that's his first wing. So let's do his next wing, which will come out here. We'll just finish this up. It's the same principle as the other side, guys. It's just you can't see too much of this one because it's on the other side of his body. All right, so awesome. Very close to being done. So let's continue his body. Again, these front scales are gonna come all the way down to underneath his body. You wanna draw a little shaded areas for where you can see his rib sticking out a little bit. So, and this is where his wing is going to end. 
as I go through his body, I'm changing the direction his scales face. His scales, like a snake, should always follow the curvature of his body, should always follow the direction. They're not all gonna be downward. They're gonna follow his body. So that's why these scales are turned on their sides. Cool, so let's move on to his back leg. Again, um, very muscular. Dragons are very powerful, especially Smaug. So here's where his knee is, and his knee is gonna come back and connect where his ankle is. And then this is his ankle, and these come out to his toes. His dragons, most dragons that I've seen, their back feet are much larger and longer than their front feet. So that's toe number one, toe number two, toe number three. And again, we're going to draw like we did over here. We're gonna draw protective scales on his feet. Because I'm imagining he uses his feet and his hands and his teeth and he uses all these frontal attacks to attack everyone. And those, those places should be protected if you're an awesome dragon. And then again, we're gonna continue with our scales. And since his leg is going downward, much like we did with the first one, these scales are going down, but then they start to turn as they get to where his leg meets the rest of his body and his tail. So down here, they're just gonna follow the direction of his foot and then start to turn as they get more towards his body. All right, so let's do his tail. There's one promo image that I saw already and I think he had like this three-pointed spike tail. I mean, because by the time you see this movie, you'll be out so you can tell me how wrong I am and I, you know, that's fine. I take constructive criticism very well. We're gonna go ahead and finish up these scales down there. And now they're gonna start getting thinner again as they get towards the end of his body. Because as his tail and his body start to thin out, they're gonna start getting thinner and less apparent. Because I don't think he needs to protect the, the base of his tail all that much. Very simple scales going in the direction of the tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill all those in. Take me a while. That's that's pretty much the basic drawing of the dragon. You can go ahead and fill in any background that you'd like. Definitely leave me a comment and let me know what you want me to draw next. A bunch of you have suggested already amazing things. I have lots of Adventure Time ideas. Finn and Jake, Flame Princess, all of them combined. I have lots of Bravest Warriors ideas between Impossible Bear and Jelly Kid and Chris and all the Bravest Warriors characters, which is awesome, and I'm totally gonna do them, but I'd like, to, I'd like to know more. What is your favorite cartoon? And I will draw something from that. So leave me a comment and subscribe. Next week, we're drawing a special character from Bravest Warriors. Be sure to subscribe for then. Bye, guys!